Hello all and welcome back to this course on digital systems. In the last couple of weeks, we looked at the idea of K maps, the three variable, four variable, five variable and the idea of Boolean simplification, right? So uh, in this week, we are going to proceed to actually look at a more practical implementation of these ideas, okay? Um, so let's get started with, you know, so you have let's say some function okay um, n variable function a naught a1 a2 a n minus 1 and this i'm going to say is sum of some min terms some 0 1 7 something okay whatever uh, depending on the value of n okay a more realistic example would be f of a b c equals summation of min term 0 1 uh, 7 okay because i know uh, three variables you can go up to 7 so i am saying it is min term 0 1 and 7 okay so the obvious way to implement this right we had already discussed in the earlier lectures that it is possible to implement any arbitrary boolean function as long as you have AND gates, OR gates and the inverter, right? The necessary, suf necessary and sufficient gates, inverter and, and OR gates, okay? Here I am not uh, specifying how many inputs because we already know that if you have a three variable um, you know boolean function a b c then each min term would need a three input and gate i mean without any boolean simplification that is right and depending on the number of min terms the or gate will have to or the, as many of them right so in this case if you look at this particular case what we are talking about is uh, we are talking of three min terms okay so, if you look at this, we are going to say A bar, B bar, C bar plus uh, A bar, B bar, C plus A, B, C. Of course, you can do Boolean simplification on this, but let us not get into that for now. Okay, We are just assuming the uh, a very general implementation of the function. Right? So, we would need, of course, an inverter. Right? Then we would need and three gates and then we would need or three right this is exactly uh, what we uh, need in order to implement this particular boolean function right now the point is in most technologies right in most vlsi technologies it is easier to implement nand nor logic rather than and or logic right the technology and the transistors which are used to build these logic gates lend themselves very naturally to the NAND NOR functionality rather than the AND OR functionality, right? So, it would be uh, very useful to be able to think in terms of NAND NOR directly rather than start with an AND OR implementation and then, you know, try to force an inefficient NAND NOR implementation on it. Okay, so let us just think, uh, see what we can do about this uh, about this problem. If we were to try and implement this using inverter, NAND, and NOR. Okay, this is what we want to see. So let's start with a basic AND OR implementation of this, right? So we are going to talk about um, the first AND gate okay is simply going to be a bar b bar c bar right the second and gate is going to be a bar a bar b bar and c okay and the third AND gate here is going to be A, B, 
C. Right? And then I am going to put an OR gate here with which I will get the final output F. Okay? So, fundamentally, first of all, what we really have to see is, okay, if I have this AND OR implementation, how do I convert this to a NAND NOR implementation? Right? So, that is the basic idea and uh, for that, we will deal with certain, uh, you know, representations of the NAND gate in multiple ways. Okay? NAND, uh, let me take the NAND tree because I am dealing with NAND in this example. One representation of the NAND gate is to basically say AND gate with a bubble here. Right? That is, you are doing an AND followed by an inverter, right. On the other hand, it is also by De Morgan's laws, right, you can also represent the NAND gate using an OR gate with the inputs inverted, right. So, uh, A, B, C, okay, I am just saying the same thing, A, B, C, okay. Here it is very obvious this is A, B, C whole bar. Out here each input is being inverted and then fed to that OR gate, right. And therefore, I am looking at A bar plus B bar plus C bar. And by De Morgan's laws, we already know that this is A, B, C whole bar, right. So, these two are equivalent representations of the NAND gate, okay. So, what I am going to now do is to take this particular representation here and simply convert it to a NAND only implementation, okay. I am not talking of a NAND nor implementation, I will actually convert it to a NAND only implementation, okay. So, what am I going to do? I just as usual make a copy of this right and so all i am going to do is i am going to let me do that in red okay so let me do that in red i am going to add a bubble to each of these so all the nand gates i am going to convert all the and gates i am going to convert to a nand by adding a bubble right but obviously the two law this this is not equal to f right so this is not equal to f clearly right and therefore we need to do something else so what i am then going to do is okay let's see what we get here actually we get at this point we get a bar b bar into c bar whole bar Right. Likewise, this is A, B, C whole bar. Okay. And this particular line here is A bar, B bar, C whole bar. Okay. And if I simply pass this through an OR gate, what am I going to get? I am going to get A bar, B bar, C bar whole bar plus A bar, B bar C whole bar plus A B C whole bar and if I uh, if I if I just combine again use De Morgan's laws it will simply become A bar B bar C bar into A bar B bar C into A B C whole bar. Clearly this is not what we wanted we wanted the final output to be a some of those independent, uh, you know, components, right. So, if I want to now convert this OR gate also to a NAND gate, it turns out it is a very simple procedural thing to do. I replace, you know, since I have replaced bubbles here for the AND gates, right. If I change the AND gate to a NAND gate with a bubble there, I also replace the OR gate with the bubble in front, okay. So, as long as there is a bubble that is cancelling each other out, there is no problem, 
okay so what we see now is all these are just three input nand gates okay so the the way to convert that and or implementation to a nand nor implementation is very straightforward simply convert and gates to nand gates the or gate to a bubbled nand gate okay so effectively if i now do this then my implementation is going to change and what i get here is a a bar b bar c bar okay uh, into uh, sorry a bar b bar c bar whole bar into a a bar b bar c whole bar into a b c whole bar whole bar because that's a nand functionality effectively this will simply reduce to the sum of product representation that we wanted right and the um, therefore if i now redraw this representation i could move this red bubble all these red bubbles to the output right and effectively i will get the following implementation this is red nand gate this one i can now redraw as a regular nand gate let me just shade this also in red and this is my function f okay so in some sense what we have been able to do is to just implement that entire functionality using the nand implementation and this thing will of course hold for any arbitrary circuit right now it's this does not cover all the cases therefore we should look at an alternate example okay so just to be sure that we have covered our cases here let us take another function f equal to a plus b c okay b c plus uh maybe i'll call it uh, c d okay some four variables a b c d function of a b c d and this is the implementation that i want so obviously the way we would do this is we would simply start with the function the uh, and gate for bc then i would again another and gate for c and d right and then i have an or gate here right and i am going to add not just these things but i am also going to add the input a now to this or gate so i have a three input or gate this is a and therefore i get my function f here right now how do i convert this to a nand only implementation very simple i am going to replace the and gates with nand gates the nor gate with a bubbled or uh, symbol right which also is an and gate by the way right so therefore i will just again make a copy yes okay so here i am going to do exactly the same thing replace all and gates by nand gates and all the or gates by this bubbled or okay symbol now like i told you as long as there is a bubble that is cancelling each other out on the same wire there is no problem you have to do nothing because the de morgan's laws take care of this you know there is a sort of a double inversion that will happen because of the nand implementation on the two sides and therefore that 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 complementation will be taken care of by this however the moment you look at this input a there is an extra bubble i have added here right 
and if I if I just evaluate this function f, now what do I get at this output? So this is going to be uh, of course a, and this is b c bar c d bar. So what will my f? Okay, if I think, let me call this f one, right? So f one is simply going to be a into b c whole bar into c d whole bar whole bar right this is the nand uh, gate right and therefore this will be a bar plus b c plus c d right the b c bar when i do de morgan's laws that the whole bar will become each terms complement with an or right so what i see now is this is not right and therefore the and what and what is and why is that happening? Because there is no matching uh, uh, bubble on the wire for A, and therefore, in such a case, what you have to do is you have to generate A bar here. If you do A bar, then what goes into this function is A bar, and this will become A double bar, and this will become A plus B C plus C D. Okay. So the algorithm is very straightforward. Maybe we can just list them down now, right? Um, converting and or logic to NAND only implementation. Okay, the land only implementation is right replace replace all and gates uh, with NAND symbols. Okay, then replace all or gates with bubble or symbol any wire okay that does not see match, uh, I would say two bubbles you need to invert. Right. The third one is what we had to do in this particular case. Right. And of course, the bubble or remember is after all nothing but a NAND gate itself. And therefore, with just NAND 2 and NAND 3, I have been and the inverter, of course, I have been able to implement any arbitrary, um, you know, Boolean function. Right. So, similarly, you could also do the exact same thing for the product of some implementation where you use the OR AND gates, right? A product of some implementation is going to simply be the counter of this, right? The dual of this, where each max term is the OR of, you know, the uh, Boolean literals. And then you are going to do an AND of that entire thing, right? So, converting that OR AND, uh, you know, implementation to a NOR only implementation also is going to follow a very similar procedure. I leave that as an exercise to the viewer and the student to follow, okay.